it's your girl VH with another video. I have received the question from multiple viewers. I don't know if they are subscribers. I don't think so. Uh, but I have received the question and I still do receive the question on occasions um, if you can keep an owl in a cage. And I don't think that the people I'm talking about right now are bad people. Um, I actually think they do have good intentions. They just don't know, which is why they are asking. And I think the way they framed the question was, do owls need cages? And yeah, I wanted to make a video about that because I was planning uh, to make more videos about how to keep an owl in a responsible way, um, you know, how not to contribute to animal abuse. So, Luki is looking at the dog playing with his ball in the garden. It's so cute. It's so cute, huh? So cute. So cute. So. <laughs> She's distracted like the whole time. She's like, what's that silly dog doing? Okay, so no, uh, let me adjust the camera just a bit. So, no, owls do not need cages. In fact, it is complete animal abuse to keep an owl in a cage. Now, there are two possibilities for keeping an owl. And one of those two may be illegal in some countries. Um, and I'm gonna explain in a bit. Um, so, the way I keep Luki is tethered to a perch. So Luki has anklets around her legs. In those anklets, we have put jesses, leather straps, and then the jesses are connected to a swivel. It's really <laughs> dirty. She has pooped on it. I'm going to wash it later, but um, so they are connected to a swivel. And then through the swivel, we have um, a leash, some kind of long leash. It's actually, it's a, what's it called? A long, it's a long lace, a long lace. That's the falconry term. The falconer's term, the falconry term, I don't know. Um, and then this, um, long lace, thank you very much, um, we will tie up to the perch. For people who know nothing about falconry, this seems extremely cruel and I can totally understand that because before I had Luki and before I had ever even thought about owning an owl, I went to uh, this part of Belgium called Bouillon and uh, we visited a castle there and they also gave falconry demonstrations there. And, you know, in between the demonstrations, the birds were sitting on perches. So they were tethered to perches, like Luki is to a perch. And uh, they were just sitting outside. But they, instead of long laces like this, they used um, chains, which sounds cruel, but it's just the same pr principle, you know? And also, even if, even the birds, <coughs> even the birds who weren't chained and also even the birds who didn't have a chain but still just a long lace, when they f tried to fly off of the perch, it would make this chainy noise because of the ring um, that is attached to the perch. It's metal on metal, so whenever they try to fly off, it makes a sound. And I remember thinking, oh my God, this is so cruel. 
I remember thinking, like, is this is this actually legal? Should I call the police or something? I actually asked myself if this could be even legal. I felt for the birds. But I now understand, now that I have Loki, that the birds were a-okay. It just seemed sad to me because I didn't know anything about falconry. Um, but, you know, I continued to have this image of, oh my god, falconry is so sad, uh, until I met my um, mentor. So I really wanted a dog and I kept talking about it at work and but I couldn't keep a dog back then. I just I lived in a studio and my mentor told me, why don't you keep a barn owl? And I was like, are you crazy? I, I googled barn owls and I was like, you know, if they spread their wings, it's like a meter from wing to wing. They're so big. I was like, are you insane? Um, and he was like, no, I'm not insane. And I keep a barn owl inside my house as well. Um, if you want, you can, you can come and see and you'll see that it's not animal abuse. And I was like, well, okay. I didn't want to be judgmental for nothing um, because that's ignorance is really dangerous, you know? So I decided to visit their house and I came there a lot, you know, and time after time I learned that the bird was really happy, that my mentor had a very special bond with it and that it wasn't animal abuse at all. But you can only see this if you learn about owl behavior and about how the owl's life really is like. If you just see a bird chained to a perch, of course you're gonna think it's pathetic. But if you know what owls are like, then you're gonna see that it's that it's okay. Because owls are really calm creatures. They sit still in nature as well. They only fly when they need to hunt. They're really lazy. I say lazy a lot, of course they're not lazy. They just naturally preserve their energy for when they actually need it. Because if they would be flying around all day, playing and having fun in the air, you know, then they would have no energy left to flee from a natural predator if they had to, or they wouldn't have any energy left to hunt if they were actually hungry. So, please don't poop. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna poop, are you gonna poop? Are you going to poop? Were you? No, you weren't. I'm sorry. I accused you for nothing. <laughs> so, okay. Um, what was I saying? Um, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I was saying, I don't know what I was saying anymore. Hmm. Oh yeah, that, um, Owls naturally preserve their energy so they can flee from uh, natural predators or they can hunt when they have offspring to feed or are hungry themselves. If I let Luki fly freely around the house, <laughs> she will fly for like two seconds and then she'll go sit somewhere up high and just enjoy the environment, okay? So if you give your owl enough stimuli, um, then it will be happy even if it's tethered to a perch. The second possibility is to keep it in an aviary. And yes, aviaries are basically big cages. I mean, I see the point in that. But an aviary is designed to um, give the owl enough room to fly freely. And... Um, it will also not hurt its wings because cages hurt uh, the owl's wings. The owl's wings get stuck in between the, you know, the space and an aviary has to, and it's different in every country, but it has to have certain dimensions because if an aviary is too small, your owl will be unhappy and it will hurt its wings. Uh, but if it's too big, it can also hurt itself. So it, has to have certain dimensions, it has to be made out of certain materials, and it is created to 
give the owl the opportunity to hide itself if it wants to, you know. And there, there are advantages to both keeping your owl tethered to a perch as well as to keeping it in an aviary. So um, you can also keep your owl tethered to a perch outside in your garden. That's another possibility. So I guess there are three possibilities. Um, but that's not done a lot. It is done for keeping hawks, I think. Um, but if you keep it tethered to a perch outside, then you should also provide a shelter so that it can uh, stay dry when it rains and stuff. And it should also be able to protect itself from heavy winds, etc. Now, I have to admit, keeping your owl tethered to a perch has been illegal in Belgium. But now they've created a new law. So before June or July next year, 2019, me and my boyfriend are gonna have to build an aviary in the garden um, because, <laughs> what are you looking at, Loki? I think she wants to pre me. Because, you know, by that time, it won't be legal anymore to keep your owl tethered to a perch. And if there were to come inspection, to our house, they would be um, allowed to take Lucky away from us if we haven't, if we don't have an aviary by then. So that is definitely something we're going to do. Now I do understand why they have changed the law. I think it's a good thing that people in Belgium wanna, um, you know, wanna be good to animals. What the lawmakers don't understand, however, is that an owl that is used to being tethered to a perch inside someone's house, an owl that has been imprinted on a human and an owl that has been used to living with a human will be very depressed if it has to live in an aviary afterwards, first of all. And then second of all, uh, an owl that is used to living inside uh, especially in during winter, um, will get sick if it suddenly has to live in an aviary outside. I can never keep Luki in the aviary during winter because she will get sick. As long as it's not freezing, you know, okay, it's still kind of okay, but um, the moment it, it gets really cold, it's, it's not okay because she's not used to it. Um, I did make a video about this, I think, in the past, um, in which I said that before you get your owl, decide what kind of owl you want. Do you want an outside owl or an inside owl? If you choose to keep an outside owl, then just know that it will be less... Um, the bond between you and your owl might be, you know, less. Um, but then you know you can always keep it outside and you can also choose to put it inside sometimes. Um, but if you keep your owl inside from the beginning, um, then you can't put it outside anymore because, you know, it, it's not used to it and it will get sick. And owls are really sensitive to sickness, you know, and once they get sick, they usually die. It's not a, it's not, it's no fun. No, don't do it. <laughs> so, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God, you, you pooped on me, I'm so sure. Oh, looky why? Oh my God, there's owl poop in my hair. I'm so sure. Oh, uh, looky, I just, <laughs> oh no. I'm just quickly gonna clean this up. And then I'm gonna continue the video. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, I cleaned it up. I'm so sorry for that small interruption. This can happen if you have an owl. Mwah. I still love you though. Poor thing. I'm such an abusive mommy. Cutie pie. Ah, oh, look, I feed you. So, I was talking about keeping your owl inside or outside. So, yeah, 
choose in advance if you want an inside owl or an outside owl. But this video was actually going to be about cages. So those are the three possibilities. Keeping your owl tethered to a perch outside, tethered to a perch, blah, 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 tethered to a perch inside, or in an aviary outside. Obviously, an, an aviary is not a cage. It is really big and it allows the owl to actually live there. An owl in a cage is just wrong, 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 wrong. It will be so unhappy there. Okay, but don't poop again, okay? Are you empty already? <laughs> Have you emptied everything? Because really, this is a really nice shirt. You know, the poop washes out, by the way, in the washing machine, but you never know. Huh. Okay. Um, where was I? Yes, the aviary. Yeah, cages are really bad. Your owl will be so unhappy in the cage and it will, it's gonna fly away, but I'm gonna let her. Yeah, you can fly freely, just take off. She's just looking for a spot. She's like, where can I go sit on? Oh, you want to sit on the glove again? Oh, that's so cute. Or is it a better? Oh, you can't decide. Okay, fine. <laughs> this is such a messy video. I don't know what's happening today. This is the second video I'm recording and it's messy, but sometimes that's good. Spontaneous videos are good, right? And my hair is like just out of bed. Look. I can't even speak English anymore. My hair looks like I'm just out of bed. Okay, uh, so your owl will be incredibly unhappy in a cage and also it will hurt itself in a cage. And to be honest, I don't think any bird belongs, belongs in a cage, not even parrots or canaries. Do people still keep canaries in cages? Canaries, they, they are the little uh, yellow birds, right? Um, wasn't Tweety a canary? Like, even if the bird is really small, I personally feel that it's really wrong to keep it in a cage because, yes, it is meant to fly, and Luki does still fly. She either um, trains with me, so she will fly um, from the perch, the tea perch, um, it's a higher perch. She will fly in the garden uh, from the perch towards me and back, uh, like 10 times or something or she will fly freely around the house here. So she isn't completely robbed of her freedom. Um, and I feel like people who keep parrots also usually don't rob their parrots from their freedom because the parrots often live freely in the house and they are only in the cage at night or something or when there's no one at home. Uh, but like canaries, like, I don't know. I know I've, you know, it used to be a thing in Belgium um, a few years ago and everyone would have canaries and they would always sit in a cage and I felt like they weren't very tame so people couldn't really let them out of the cage because it would be really ha hard to catch them again. And I always felt so sad for the canaries because the cages also were very small. They couldn't really fly in the cage. So I don't know if that is still a thing. And of course, I don't know anything about canaries. So I'm trying not to judge here. It's just, that's how I feel right now. I feel like not any bird should live in a cage, but I might be wrong, of course. Just like I was wrong about the birds of prey in Bouillon. Ha. So yeah, to answer your question, owls do not belong in cages, not even a cage that is really big, not a dog bench, no, no cage whatsoever, only an aviary that is especially designed for owls or birds of prey. Um, if it's legal in your country to tether an owl to a perch, then that is definitely a good option. I am all for that, as long as you provide your owl the opportunity to fly every day, every single day, okay? Then it's a-okay. 
Um, but like I said, the laws are different in every country and the laws also change over time, which is a good thing. The only thing I want to say is that, you know, the people who make the laws should invest more time and money in better research because the people who have made the new law about birds of prey uh, needing to be kept in aviaries and no longer tethered to purchase, I see that the intention was good, but they don't know anything about falconry, so they don't know that the birds who have been living um, tethered to a perch inside someone's house can't survive anymore in an aviary outside. So I think they should include a little section in the new law that states that all birds purchased before uh, 2019 should be still allowed to, you know, be kept tethered to a perch. Of course, you know, when inspection comes, they will see that I have an aviary and, you know, I don't think they are really going to care if I keep Luki in there or not. And, you know, if they ask, I will just kindly educate them and, you know, ask them, you know, okay, you want to do an inspection, that's fine. You obviously care about animals. But did you know that if I put Luki in the aviary in winter that she will die? Would you be like, no, I will force the law upon you and, you know, do you want to, do you want an owl to die just because you want, you know, you want to force people to respect the law? Or do you want to think like a logical human being and be like, oh, maybe we should be a bit more flexible, you know? But you can always communicate with people. So uh, we will build the aviary and I will definitely put Luki in there in summer. I think that would be great for her. She loves watching the environment. But I'm also going to put her back inside with us uh, towards the evening because I know that she will miss us and I don't want her to get depressed. So yeah, that was my video about cages. Owls do not need cages. They hate them and I completely understand why. So, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. I make videos every week and I will see you in the next video.